Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Overrated and Underrated. I'm Lucia. I'm Gwen. And I'm Kylie. And today we're going to be talking about a variety of things. First thing is wildflower cases. Oh, yes. Yeah, I love I think that they're, I don't know actually, maybe perfect because I love some of their designs, but actually as like time goes on, I think they're getting a little worse. Yeah. Um, Same. Yeah, Yeah, like maybe two to three years ago. It was like at its peak, but now it's getting kind of bland in my opinion. Like, Yeah, I definitely think some of their designs are cute, but they definitely have to fit a certain person's style. Exactly. Yeah, but what I do like is the price, like $35.00. It's not bad for a phone case nowadays. Yeah, I agree. Especially, like, considering the ones Apple makes and, like, exactly. mm-hmm. all the Yeah, brands. and how, like, how sturdy they are. Yeah, they're, they're really sturdy, sturdy. Ca- mm-hmm. cases. For sure. And they, like, pop out a little bit on the screen of your phone. So mm-hmm. you, if you drop your phone, it won't hit. It'll hit the case. Yeah. No, yeah, I like, like that a lot. Like, my $35 wildflower case probably was, like, the most protective out of them all. Because then I got a more expensive one and that ruins my phone like yeah, back, really? my phone is shattered oh my god yeah yeah okay, okay so perfectly rated yes i, I think perfectly, perfectly. Okay. yeah and then next subject is uggs oh i love uggs oh, i have a pair of my own but like Same. they're so over you yeah, they're so overrated i always opinion, see them. but i think they're so cute okay you know they're so comfortable but they're very bland looking they look like yeah, a slipper I get that. Very basic. so if we're talking about the aesthetic itself i'd say overrated but if mm-hmm. we're talking about how comfortable it is to wear it in the winter like oh to gosh, school so warm and fuzzy it's so warm. definitely like every single time rated. i wear them i love how they fit on my feet and yeah. how they just like they're like an uh, extra pair of socks they're just yeah. so, so easy healthy. to wear yeah. mm-hmm. i don't like how you have to waterproof them though like i feel like if you're That's spending really that same. much money like, on why? them they should come like waterproofed no, yeah exactly like why are we paying for expensive shoes when we have to waterproof it ourselves and buy it yeah like, i yeah. saw a tiktok and this person was out in the snow like making a tiktok and people mm-hmm. were like why are you wearing your uggs in the snow like they're gonna get really why exactly. uggs are like soft on the inside i wouldn't wear them in the summer they're for like winter and exactly. fall no like, literally yeah and also they're really hard to clean like i got one stain on mine tried to clean them and oh, i just yeah, made it a hundred times really worse <laughs> yeah same well because yeah it's especially if they're light colored too yeah oh for real like it's not the most expensive shoe but when you really start to think about like how it's so hard to like keep in good condition it's kind of tough yeah Mm -hmm. i agree yeah i also agree yeah so i'm gonna rate it overrated still but what about you guys i'm going overrated going overrated for aesthetics but perfectly rated for comfortability okay i love that's a good point okay chipotle I don't know. Okay. It, it's like it's it, 50-50 for me. I agree and it also depends like what you're getting. Yeah. Cheese and rice tacos. No no meat, just cheese and rice. So good, guys. Cheese, I've never tried that. So There's I can't. Get, <laughs> so guys, the, you have to she, trust. What is she They're talking so about? Good. Let her put you on. Let, her, let me cook. On. Let you're, me cook, you're okay? Funny yeah. boy. What is no, that? That is like I swear their ingredients are like so good. But like I love the taste of their ingredients. Really? They're it's so fresh. Some people don't like Place. yeah i mean i guess it depends on the chipotle you go to but i'm just gonna assume mm-hmm. that we're talking about a good chipotle oh, okay, okay. right and in that case it hits the spot like when you oh, want chipotle so good. it's something that you like crave and, and it's like, like okay, more yeah, healthy that. than like no, going to so mcdonald's yes. or like panda express for example and honestly <laughs> like the price is not even that bad no it's no, really yeah. not no, it's I used cheap. to think it was expensive. It's really not. And yeah. you get so much food. Like, they no, load they those burritos and the bowls. Like, if you really wanted to, you could get, like, a bowl and then, like, eat half of it and have enough for lunch tomorrow. Exactly. Like, it's basically two meals if you really think about it. I'm, and so they th- cut it. I'm still thinking about how you said rice and cheese, though. What? No, that's okay, so wait, good. Can no. you describe no. what's in it? Exactly. It's, okay, it's just it's, rice and it's cheese. It's white cheese and white rice in the three mini tacos. They're so good. Like imagine and do they go, do they going cook up the them with the just saying that. cheese and the rice? No, like they take the shells, yeah. put rice in them, put cheese in them, and then I eat them. They that's it. 
she it's like a bland that meal. is so no, bland no you don't understand it's so good honestly um, guys <laughs> you guys should go to chipotle and try it out and then tell us if you like yeah, it. Re- report back Please yeah report guys back. you have to trust don't do that. <laughs> it's gonna be a waste I, of 10 okay i also right there that is not what i get when i go to chipotle like i've gotten it like She's one or lying. two times like i will get a bowl with a bunch of things so i mm. know how good the other ingredients are but yeah like, okay just it's all so good i just don't know if that's where i'd spend my money on it's Same. just some rice and cheese but no <laughs> i need to try it before i speak on it right okay what's um, our last one aritzia oh oh my uh, god i okay i don't have anything from aritzia but just from what i know i would say overrated because like i don't know how comfy their clothes are oh but there's so much money okay i don't know i like oh that's a hard one because i actually have like i own two pairs of hoodies from aritzia no, actually, I think three items from Ritzia. And I love the quality so much. But 80 bucks is so extreme for some basics. Because yeah. it's a basic. And you can literally get it off of Amazon. Yeah, I have some things from Ritzia. And I do think it's overrated. Because it's just, like, good quality. Yeah, but really, really expensive. No. Like, their clothes look a lot like any mm-hmm. other clothes you can get. Yeah. And then the price is, like, so much so more. Much money. No, yeah. And also, the fitting rooms don't have mirrors in them. You have to go outside to I look at your that outfit. Yeah, so much. it's and always that, rough. It's always so yeah. embarrassing. Like, like if I'm mm-hmm. going to pay $80 for something, I think I want a mirror in my fitting room to see if right. I like it yeah, or not. Right, exactly. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go overrated. I'm going to go overrated. Overrated. Okay, and that's all we had for today. So, yeah. yes. thanks for so, listening. Thank you. Bye. Bye.